Hello students, welcome back. In this video, we will discuss one more section of solid a cube. If you wish to check the previous problems like square prism and then hexagonal pyramid, cone problems, even a true shape of section as rhombus in square prism, check the description box for a link if you wish. And read the question, a cube of side 25 mm rests on HP. On one of its faces with a vertical face inclined at 35 degree to VP. A plane perpendicular to HP and inclined at 50 degree to VP cuts the cube 3 mm away from the axis. Draw the top view and the sectional front view. Also find the true shape of section. So first you have to find what is our top and front view being a solid cube exactly rests on HP, our top view will be a square. And what is the position of square in the top view is one of its face with the vertical face must be inclined at 35 degree to VP. It's very simple. Each and every side of the base possesses one vertical face which means one side of square makes 35 degree to VP. So with this we will proceed our answer draw xy and draw a 35 degree inclination thin line and fix your square side as 25 mm one side must be inclined to 35 degree to vp 35 degree to xy and fix your notations a a1 b b1 c c1 d d1 the reason is a, B, C, D is the top face of the cube. A1, B1, C1, D1 is the bottom face or base of the cube which is invisible from the top. Now you can extend the vertical projectors from all the corners and complete your front view. Uh, the height it is again same 25 being a cube. Complete your front view here while uh, marking a notation. A, B, C is visible from the front but D is invisible from the front view. That's why D1 dash marked in the bracket. Similarly, the top is A dash, B dash, C dash and D dash must be in the bracket. And here you have to remember always one thing in section of solid. First, you have to complete your entire simple position by means of a thin line. After completing the section plane, identifying the section plane, we can come to know what is the remaining and removed portion of the solid. The remaining portion of the solid has to be converted into thick lines. So always begin your simple position with a thin lines. Now the simple portion is completed. What is the section plane condition? Read it. A plane perpendicular to HP inclined at 50 degree to VP cuts the cube 3 mm away from the axis. So first of all we have to identify the axis in the top view. So you take midpoint of all the sides and connect it identify the axis point. From that uh, you draw a 50 degree inclination line which is exactly passing through this ax midpoint axis point okay, the center point of a square. This must be exactly traveling through this axis or center point of the top view. Now you take 3 mm away from the axis. Take a distance of 3 mm away from the axis. Draw the exact another 50 degree line to fix our section plane. Okay. So first you have to draw a 50 degree inclination line exactly on the axis point. Then you can draw measure 3 mm and draw the section plane uh, parallel to that 50 degree inclination line if you measure both are same 50 degree so this is our section plane from this uh, removed and remaining portion is easily identified this is the bottom of of the uh, section plane is removed portion this is the remaining portion of the solid remaining portion of the solid must be converted into thick lines now identify cutting points of section plane this is the point number one where the section plane is cutting the top view 
make it as one extend a perpendicular vertical projector and mark one dash in the top front view similarly the next point is here you can extend a vertical projector and make it as two dash if you check here we are having a d as well as a1 d1 here on this side b c b1 c1 a dash d dash is one dash but uh, similarly if you check b c b dash c dash we are having two dash what about the base base we are having b1 and c1 where it is cutting here so there's three three dash you may have a doubt why this three marked in the bracket this is the base three dash and as well as four dash is on the base if you see from the top always base is invisible that's why three is represented in the bracket similarly four this is the meeting point of four dash now you can join all these one dash uh, two dash and uh, three dash four dash to fix the remaining portion of the solid in the front view now you have to do a hatching for this one dash two dash two dash three dash three dash four dash so do a hatching before that uh, don't forget to convert this uh, d1 dash and d dash as a thick hidden line because it is the remaining portion of the solid even though it is invisible from the front it must be converted into thick hidden long dashed lines okay now we can do a hatching make it as a uniform distance between the hatching lines make sure it is a thin line okay so this is our sectional front view sectional front view is over now the next last question is find the true shape of section we have to draw one more uh, plane of projection parallel to the section plane this also makes 50 degree with respect to xy parallel to the section plane make it as x1 and y1 now you can draw a perpendicular projector draw a perpendicular projector which means if you mark the inclination measure the inclination of this perpendicular projector with respect to x1 and y1 it must be 90 degree from point 2 so 1 and 4 on the same vertical projector perpendicular projector 2 and 3 also on the same perpendicular projectors now you have to convert this shape as the true shape of section identify or measure the distance from xy this point as center, one dash as radius, this point as center because this is the corresponding one projector line, cutting point one projector line, make this point as center, this distance as radius, draw an arc to identify one one. Next is two dash, the same radius we can use it, you place your compass here and draw another arc and make it as two one. What about three and four? 3 dash 4 dash is exactly on xy so the respective projectors this is 3 projector make it as 3 1 this is 4 projector make it as 4 1 now you can join all these points like 1 1 2 1 3 1 4 1 and do a hatching for this uh, final true shape of section this is the true shape of our section of a cube so here most of the time you may have a chance of doing a mistake in the section plane condition first i always wish to go for this procedure first draw a 50 degree inclination line exactly on the axis then you can shift the section plane 3 mm away from the axis by drawing a parallel 50 degree line from the axis okay and uh, i hope you understood this problem very well in case if you have any query or any doubt you can uh, put it in the comment box i will always answer to you people if you wish to see the remaining uh, square prism hexagonal pyramid cone uh, problems you can check the description box or channel playlist of section of solids and if you like this video click a like button and share the same with your uh, fellow friends if you are not subscribed to our channel kindly subscribe and support to me thank you